So I've been working on this character model recently and ran into various issues in getting the cloth to behave correctly. I figured it'd be a good idea to make a video outlining what caused these issues I had and how to rectify them, as I'm guessing others have likely run into the same problems. I've dealt with problems such as the cloth not colliding with anything, the cloth clipping through collision objects, and the cloth getting stuck on itself, just to name a few. Hopefully the tips in this video help you discover why your cloth may be acting up. The first two tips I'll go over are more things you should watch out for, and are very easy to overlook as your blend file grows in complexity. In this first clip, we can see that the cloth is simply not colliding with the legs. I certainly didn't forget to enable collision on the body, so what's wrong? The problem here is that the body's collision modifier comes before the armature modifier. This means the collision volume is calculated before armature deformation is applied. Basically, the collision volume is seemingly left at the first frame of the animation. Since the character is walking forward, there is no geometry to collide with, and this is why the shorts appear to be hanging from the character's hips. In this next clip, the shorts appear to get stuck along the thighs. This time, the shorts cloth modifier is applied before its armature modifier. This means the cloth simulation itself is calculated prior to armature deformation. The results are obviously not what we want. So to fix this, we just ensured that the cloth and collision modifiers come after the armature for both the shorts and the body. And with that simple change, we can see we fixed the issue. Another thing that has bitten me quite often is that sometimes the cloth appears to be colliding with nothing. In this clip, you can see the shorts collide with something seemingly random in the middle of the animation. You can see that the hair brushes up at the same time as the shorts. They're actually colliding with an invisible, unrendered object in the scene. An invisible, unrendered object still participate in the simulation. So obviously the moral of the story here is to delete the invisible objects or disable collision on the invisible meshes. Just keep this tip in mind if you start seeing this behavior because it happens to me all the time as I like to keep a bunch of old objects around just in case I want to go back to them. It'll also speed up your simulation if the invisible items aren't part of your simulations. Moving on in this animation, you can see that the shorts clip through her legs as they cross over one another. Note that I've set the object and self collisions to their minimum values at 0 0.001. What appears to be happening is that the vertices get bunched together such that some vertices can't separate themselves from one another by more than 0 0.001 so the cloth gets stuck and the simulation doesn't really know what to do. The problem here is that you can't go below 0 0.001 in Blender. You may think, oh, well, let's just up the amount of collision steps and the simulation won't get in such a bad state. But looking at this clip here, I've increased the collision steps from 5 to 30, and it actually exacerbated the problem. What I decided to do to fix this was simply scale the scene higher. I applied about a 4x scale to the scene. Alternatively, you could reduce the amount of vertices in your mesh to create more distance between the vertices. By scaling the scene, the vertices are spaced out much more while you're able to still have the geometric density you want. Scaling also allows you greater control over the collision distances as you're no longer cramped by the Blender minimum 0.001 getting in your way. In fact, I increased the object collision distance to 0.006 for this animation to alleviate clipping against the thighs. So that's all I have for this video. I decided to only go over things that I continually ran into. Please let me know if you're having other problems with cloth simulations, and I'd be happy to help if possible. I hope at least one of these tips can help you solve weird cloth behavior you're seeing in your simulations. Thanks for watching.